one of the best players in NBA history. But the combination of injuries and poor shooting over the past couple seasons have cooled him off just a bit. Well, our experts and analysts from ESPN.com have certainly taken notice. In their 2015 preseason player rankings, Kobe comes in at number 93. Since being ranked number six before the 2012 season, Kobe has dropped steadily over the last four years. So Kobe Bryant, barely a top 100 player. Stephen A., are you buying this? Buying it? You know what? Let me say this. <clears throat> I'm often saying that I respect my colleagues, and I'm not going to disrespect anybody, but mm -hmm. I would ask America, and I'm not joking. I'm dead serious okay. about this. I would ask America, do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, <laughs> such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. This is so disrespectful. It really, really is. It's almost the equivalent of somebody going to Rutgers Park or on the park on West 4th Street or in Harlem on 135th Street, the places that I used to play. Oh, I see somebody that can jump higher, that can shoot the ball better, that got a nastier handle, and all of a sudden they can play better than a five-time champion who happens to be a former league MVP, scoring champion, and universally recognized as one of the best players ever in NBA history. I mean, this is just beyond blasphemy to me. I understand that Kobe Bryant's been hurt. I understand that he is aged. He's, he's 37 years of age. Now, I get all of that. But what I'm trying to say is that when you see Kobe Bryant on the basketball court, I'm not talking about injuries. Because obviously, if you injure, I mean, if that's the case, Kevin Durant should be 90th in the world. And we all know that Kevin Durant is universally recognized as one of the top two players on the planet, okay? So when we look at it from that perspective, if we're going to go by injuries, well, then, then, then he should be, he should be, 90th. If we're going to go by injuries, well, Kyrie Irving, why even consider him, okay, who, wants, who happens to be one of the nastiest point guards in the game? But we're going to look at Kobe, right? And because of his injuries, we're going, to, we're going to insult him by saying that there are 92 players in the National Basketball Association better than Kobe Bryant. I got news for y'all. You can't find 92 players better than Kobe Bryant on the planet. All of those things that come with basketball, whether it's handle, it's jump shooting, it's footwork, it's defense, it's knowing how to do things a certain way, it's knowing what moments to do them in. You can't find 92 players on the planet Earth better than Kobe Bean Bryant. It is unreal to me how people can sit there and say such things. So disrespectful. Michael Jordan, when he went to the Washington Wizards, Skip, he wasn't what he used to be, but he knew how to play, and he still went on the court and would average 18 or 19 a game. There aren't 92 players in the NBA that could average 18 or 19 a game. That, 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 that just doesn't exist. So the fact that this stuff could be said it's stuff that I find so insulting, so blasphemous, and I understand it's fun, and I understand people want to make polls and all of this other stuff, and I am a company guy. You understand Walt Disney, ABC, ESPN, proud employee. I get all of that, but I reserve the right to completely and utterly disassociate myself for such an idiotic damn poll. And I think ESPN should be embarrassed that something like this could be put over the airwaves where you got Kobe Bryant ranked 93rd in the world, but we're supposed to know something about basketball. This is unbelievable. It's just ridiculous. Go ahead. Question. Do you love you some Kobe Bryant? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. But I also appre I love him because I appreciate his greatness. I hear I appreciate you. what I've seen him do. I appreciate the fact that he walks into an arena. He can walk in there right now and if healthy at age 37 and drop 30 or 40 on most dudes in the league right now. Now, he might have to shoot 33 shots to get to that many points, but that's well, a whole other issue depends on what night it is sometimes okay. he's got a good shoot percentage sometimes, sometimes he, doesn't. he doesn't but his but the purity of his game talk to coaches who know the purity of his game in terms of what he can do you can't find a coach that would disagree with what i'm saying okay you can't find one i obviously do not know kobe bryant off the court the way you know kobe bryant nah. i respect that i appreciate that 
But I w I'm here to tell you, I am still a big Kobe fan. He's still one of the top five players I would actually go out of my way at night to watch. I'm going to turn over and watch him as soon as these real games start. I'm going to watch me some Kobe Bryant. I'm fascinated by what he will be at, in, in his 20th NBA season. That there are just a few players, a handful that I would tune in to watch. Steph Curry, we could go on and on, but he's right there with, still with Steph to me as box office. But we're not talking about box office here. We're not talking about popularity. We're not talking about likability. We're not talking about aura or mystique or five rings. We're talking about for me lately, as in over the last two years. And I got to tell you, to defend this ranking. The numbers don't just whisper that Kobe Bryant is the 93rd ranked player. They scream that he should be the 93rd what? ranked player. What? The great John Hollinger came up with player efficiency rating over the last two years. Kobe Bryant in PER ranks 100th. So just on that stat alone, a lot of people hang their hat on it. Kobe should be the 100th ranked player, not just 93rd. They gave him a little break. And this is a little complicated. Bear with me on this stat, but just try to, to absorb it. Let it compute. Let it go deep into your psyche, your Kobe-loving psyche. But in the 41 games that Kobe Bryant has played over the last two seasons, he's averaged 21.1 points. Pretty good, pretty good. But while shooting under 38% from the field, that's the worst field goal percentage over any two-year stretch in the shot clock era in which a player averaged at least 20 points a game. So his shooting percentage is pathetically bad by anyone's standards. And I know it's hard for you to, to sort of digest that, but it's just the fact he still shoots a lot and he misses a lot. But He'll make enough that he can average 21.1, but what's it doing to his team? It's not really helping his team because, as I keep pointing out to you, six of the last eight NBA seasons in which Kobe has played a full season, he has led this league in attempted shots. So there's no, whatever term you want, gunner just has the greenest light, however you want to say it, Kobe's going to jack the ball up, man. He's going to shoot it like nobody will shoot it. And he's not making enough of them to have an age in his career. So those are just the numbers. And as I say, they don't just whisper, eh, be careful. They scream that statistically you can absolutely back up the fact that he's now fallen to the 93rd worst player in this league. Or Skip best Bayless. player, Skip, you Skip, Skip, Skip Bayless, mm -hmm. I swear to you, if I was in front of you, I would throw some water would, or something on you, you right would. now. You'd slap the the right idiocy. In the it's so ridiculous what you just said. Yep. Let me say this to you. The last full season that Kobe Bryant played, you left out the fact that they made the playoffs. They won 45 games. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Skip Bayless, Kobe Bryant averaged 27 and shot. 46.3% from the field. Those were his last, that's his last full season. Now over the last two seasons, Skip, he's been injured. He it's only played 41 yeah. games, mm -hmm. 41 games total out of a 164. But in those 41 games, Skip, need I remind you who his teammates were? Swaggy P. Robert Sakra. I think it was Jody Meeks one time. You had yeah. Kent Bazemore. I, I, mean, I, 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 I can't believe that I'm having this discussion with you. I just can't believe this. That you, you sit up there and you brought up all of this stuff and you forgot who his teammates were. Of course he shot the ball. Who the hell else was going to shoot? Of course he missed more than he made. He was getting double and triple T for crying out loud because they didn't have to worry about anybody else scoring. If you're playing with a bunch of scrubs or dudes past it, probably because Carlos Boozer is no scrub. He's just older now or whatever. And, and Tom Thibodeau had him shooting them damn elbow jump shots. So he lost most of his inside game because of it. The bottom line is Kobe Bryant wasn't really playing with anybody so i don't want to hear all of this nonsense okay clarkson i like and he's got a future and i understand but that's, that. that's new but, 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 that's but, now yeah okay. i understand that but yeah. what i'm saying to you is this the reality is is i don't care the 
Hey, this is a basketball principles we talk about. I don't give no damn about no PER rating. Who cares? I don't care about all of that. All right? What I care about is my eyes, what I see, and the circumstances under which somebody is playing. If you are Kobe Bryant or you Skip Bayless or you Stephen A and you roll up in the park and it's a bunch of scrubs that's with you, you know what you're going to do? You're going to say, give me the ball. And play defense. I'll do it my damn self. Because that's how you roll when you play in basketball. And you ain't playing with some scrubs. Now, LeBron James is an exception. Because LeBron James makes everybody better. He's 6'8". He's a freak of nature. Chris Bosh's number were up when he played with LeBron James. Along with so many other people. Their numbers elevate when they're playing with LeBron James. Because he's a complimentary superstar. But when you talk about Kobe, who's a scorer. And he's about shooting first. And he's about putting the ball in the hole. you got to take into account the catch that he's playing with. You can't ignore some of those dudes that Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak had on the roster with him. The blasphemy that comes out of your mouth sometimes. I don't even understand you right now. You just go ahead and talk. I don't it's, even understand. It's not I, I can't even mouth. believe that we're having this, this discussion. Page. It's I don't the stats. Oh, Who cares about a page? We got TV to hell with the page. We got the, we got in person to hell with the page. It don't mean anything. The page don't mean nothing. You should be ashamed of yourself for saying what you just I said. How dare was... you? What? I, what? I thought this was the black mamba we're talking about. Oh, Who cares there you go again. So there all, you go again. All I hear oh, about please. LeBron is he doesn't have enough help, but Kobe doesn't have enough help, but, but that's an excuse. Which, which is it? Which way? LeBron makes everybody better. Why can't Kobe somehow? Kobe can average 10 assists if he feels like it. He's capable. He has that basketball IQ. I, he hasn't played to that level. The stats back it up. So you are projecting what you think he's going to be this season. And when you say no. you're using yes. No. Hey. No, I'm not. When, when, he might come out the, he might come out this season and look and look really bad. Okay. I'm saying that based on what you have seen, you can't just ignore the conditions he's playing under. You can't look look if I'm Russell Westbrook, who is a superstar by the way, okay? If I'm Russell Westbrook, it kind of helps that I have Kevin Durant. And when Kevin Durant went down, I did have an Enos Cantor. I did have a Serge Ibaka. I did have a Deion Waiters. Now, they ain't superstars, but they damn sure better than what Kobe's had to work with the last two years. Okay. I mean, this, it's just disrespectful. It's no, it's disrespectful. not. No, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Time out. You are using the eye test, but you are seeing with your heart because you oh, still Lord. love what Kobe used to be. And I get that. I appreciate it. But you're wrong. I'm sorry. There's also this thing called the defensive end of the floor. And if you look at real plus minus, I know it's a stat you don't want to hear about, but the defensive real, real plus, plus minus, minus says that Kobe ranked over the last year 331st. He just doesn't play much defense anymore. So you that, know has, to, that you has, has to rank sold, in the 93rd. You have sold your soul, Skip Bayless, because you know what? The Me? analytics folks, the analytics folks would love you, but the <laughs> old school, the, the old school guys you covered that talk about that eye test, that take into account the intangibles, that understand all the nuances that come with the game of basketball, that analytics, dare I say, with all due respect, because I do like analytics, but that analytics may not consider is the kind of stuff that you're leaning on. You should be ashamed I'm of not, yourself. I'm proud I of cannot myself. believe oh, yeah. that you are all people. To you agree have sold with what your soul. Me. This, this poll, that Skip Bayless wants to applaud the poll. That's fine. I'm not trying to cast any aspersions. It's all in fun. But that poll is a joke. That poll is disgraceful. That poll, I have no association <laughs> with it. I don't care if ESPN okay. say is on it. It is no excuse. Kobe Bryant, the 92 players in the NBA, better than Kobe Bryant. I mean, they, Sports Illustrated had Roy Hibbert in the 90s. Roy Hibbert in the 90s. I mean, okay. that's where Kobe Bryant belongs you know now. No disrespect, Roy Hibbert. You? But come on. I, I, come on. Do, oh, you got to be kidding me. What? You know what, what? I'm going to do? No more stats. <laughs> I'm done with the stats. Now I'm going to tell this, you what my eyes have been telling you, me over the last please, two please, years. Please, I'm my all for it. My eyes have been telling me.
R as much as I have loved Kobe Bean Bryant, that he is now a shell of his former Kobe self. That guy who was box office in L.A., that guy who did win two championships without the great Shaquille O'Neal, that guy is gone, and I'm sorry that he's gone, let me, and it's in part because he can't stay healthy anymore. Let, let me tell I'm you. sorry. He's let an me tell aging you NBA why Kobe's gone. legend. Let me tell you why Kobe's gone. The only argument you have is that Father Time has caught up, and he's a bit more brittle than he used to be. So instead of getting hurt and coming back from those injuries, I mean, skip. That was an Achilles that he went down with a couple of years ago, okay? And then he came back, and it was his knee. And who was defending him on that play in Memphis? Tony Allen, one of the best defenders in all of basketball, True. and a rough rider, and he hurt his knee yep. on the play. I'm telling you right now, not only is that pole bogus, you can't find 10 players to tell you that there are 92 players in the NBA better than Kobe Bryant. Yeah, you could. That is, listen, listen. They wouldn't say it they, on the record, Kobe, but they Kobe, tell you no, off the record. Kobe off the record, please. Come on now. Kobe Bryant <laughs> might be a bit difficult. He shoots too much from on occasion. All his teammates don't always like him. I get all of that. I understand that. But when we're not talking about all of that. Right now, what we're talking about is this brother's game. At age 37, Kobe Bryant, healthy at age 37. We give it to half of the league. Okay. Easy. So and, why? And, 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 and for you to say something otherwise, I, I must have been Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, I, I, I'm ashamed of you. No, you're I am not. ashamed of no, you. You're not. I am ashamed of you. Okay, I wait, cannot time believe out, you. Time out. I'm ashamed of you because you scoff at the Lakers' chances this year. You ridicule them. You laugh at the idea they could even make any playoff contention type of a run. So and, if, if and, Kobe is Kobe. So what? And, and there aren't 92 players better than him. What, what you should pick him to be in the playoffs this year. Have, no, I should Have shouldn't. the courage see, of see, your once conviction. Again, once Guys, again, we gotta go to Brixton. Hold on. No, 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 Molly. No. Okay. Let's say this. You can switch that up all you want to. I recall saying, Melo's great. One of the great top five offensive players of this generation. What do I say about the Knicks? You know how I feel about Russell Westbrook and his talents. Did Oklahoma City end up in the playoffs last year? So there's Close. plenty of great players that can't get their team to that hump because it is a team game and you need other guys to know how to do something. So don't use that as an excuse to not Kobe. You should be ashamed of yourself. It is blasphemous what you are talking about. I, 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 I swear to you, you're lucky I'm a professional. I might walk off this show for the rest of no, the day. Please, I can't believe you just said go. what you just said. I can't please believe stay. it. I, I can't believe you, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Molly, I'm uh, proud of myself. Oh, that's okay. you guys are too much. Kobe yeah. was ranked 40th last year, and he called the ESPN poll or ESPN a bunch of idiots, so he, he wasn't happy there. Looking and he's for, right. <laughs> looking forward to seeing him back on the court October 28th when the Timberwolves come to the Staples Center. Moving on, gentlemen, back to one of the best players in NBA history. But the combination of injuries and poor shooting over the past couple seasons have cooled him off just a bit. Well, our experts and analysts from ESPN.com have certainly taken notice. In their 2015 preseason player rankings, Kobe comes in at number 93. Since being ranked number six before the 2012 season, Kobe has dropped steadily over the last four years. So Kobe Bryant, barely a top 100 player. Stephen A, are you buying this? Buying it? You know what, let me say this. <clears throat> I'm often saying that I respect my colleagues and I'm not going to disrespect anybody, but mm -hmm. I would ask America and I'm not joking. I'm dead serious okay. about this. I would ask America, do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, <laughs> such blasphemy, such ridiculous nonsense. This is so disrespectful. It really, really is. It's almost the equivalent of somebody going to Rutgers Park or the park on West 4th Street or in Harlem on 135th Street, the places that I used to play. In. Oh, I see somebody that can jump higher, that can shoot the ball better, that got a nastier handle, and all of a sudden they can play better than a five-time champion who happens to be a former league MVP, scoring champion, and universally recognized as one of the best players ever in NBA history. I mean, this is just beyond blasphemy to me. I understand that Kobe Bryant's been hurt. I understand that he is aged. He's, he's 37 years of age. Now, I get all of that. But what I'm trying to say is that 
when you see Kobe Bryant on the basketball court, I'm not talking about injuries. Because obviously, if you injure, I mean, if that's the case, Kevin Durant should be 90th in the world. And we all know that Kevin Durant is universally recognized as one of the top two players on the planet, okay? So when we look at it from that perspective, if we're going to go by injuries, well, then, then, then he should be, he should be, 90th. If we're going to go by injuries, well, Kyrie Irving, why even consider him, okay, who, wants, who happens to be one of the nastiest point guards in the game? But we're going to look at Kobe, right? And because of his injuries, we're going, to, we're going to insult him by saying that there are 92 players in the National Basketball Association better than Kobe Bryant. I got news for y'all. You can't find 92 players better than Kobe Bryant on the planet. All of those things that come with basketball, whether it's handle, it's jump shooting, it's footwork, it's defense, it's knowing how to do things a certain way, it's knowing what moments to do them in. You can't find 92 players on the planet Earth better than Kobe Bean Bryant. It is unreal to me how people can sit there and say such things. So disrespectful. Michael Jordan, when he went to the Washington Wizards, Skip, he wasn't what he used to be, but he knew how to play, and he still went on the court and would average 18 or 19 a game. There aren't 92 players in the NBA that could average 18 or 19 a game. That, 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 that just doesn't exist. So the fact that this stuff could be said it's stuff that I find so insulting, so blasphemous, and I understand it's fun, and I understand people want to make polls and all of this other stuff, and I am a company guy. You understand Walt Disney, ABC, ESPN, proud employee. I get all of that, but I reserve the right to completely and utterly disassociate myself for such an idiotic damn poll. And I think ESPN should be embarrassed that something like this could be put over the airwaves where you got Kobe Bryant ranked 93rd in the world, but we're supposed to know something about basketball. This is unbelievable. It's just ridiculous. Go ahead. Question. Do you love you some Kobe Bryant? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. But I also appre I love him because I appreciate his greatness. I hear I appreciate you. what I've seen him do. I appreciate the fact that he walks into an arena. He can walk in there right now and if healthy at age 37 and drop 30 or 40 on most dudes in the league right now. Now, he might have to shoot 33 shots to get to that many points, but that's well, a whole other issue. Depends on what night it is. Sometimes okay. he's got a good shoot percentage. Sometimes, sometimes he, doesn't. he doesn't. But his, but the purity of his game. Talk to coaches who know the purity of his game in terms of what he can do. You can't find a coach that would disagree with what I'm saying. Okay. You can't find one. I obviously do not know Kobe Bryant off the court the way you know Kobe Bryant. Nah. I respect that. I appreciate that. But. I w I'm here to tell you, I am still a big Kobe fan. He's still one of the top five players I would actually go out of my way at night to watch. I'm going to turn over and watch him as soon as these real games start. I'm going to watch me some Kobe Bryant. I'm fascinated by what he will be in, in his 20th NBA season. That There are just a few players, a handful, that I would tune in to watch. Steph Curry, we could go on and on. But he's right there with, still with Steph, to me, as box office. But we're not talking about box office here. We're not talking about popularity. We're not talking about likability. We're not talking about aura or mystique or five rings. We're talking about for me lately, as in over the last two years. And I got to tell you, to defend this ranking, the numbers don't just...